the first thing you will need to do is open up a browser. I personally prefer Chrome. In the search bar, you can type in Office 365, or I find it easier just to type in office.com in the URL bar. Once you've typed this in, you can just press enter. This will now ask you to sign into Microsoft Office. You can either click and sign in over here, or you can click sign in at the top. They are both exactly the same. I'm going to click once in sign in, and now it's going to ask you for your Microsoft Office username. Once you have typed in your username, you can click on next. It's now going to ask you for your password. Once you have typed in your password, simply click on sign in. It's going to ask if you'd like to stay signed in. I would recommend you say yes, unless of course it's a shared computer. Once you have signed in, you have a whole range of options. For example, Outlook is for your email. OneDrive is your storage area on the cloud. Word, Excel, PowerPoint are the most frequently used Microsoft Office applications. And Teams is where we save all of your work. I'm going to click once on Teams. Once Teams has opened, you will now see all the different teams that you have access to. I'm going to click on Year 6N. Once I've clicked on 6N, we've got all different menus at the top. Posts is where you can write letters to each other. Files is where the teacher can upload all the files for the students. This is a read-only repository. This means that you can only read the information and you can't edit it. If I click on Computer Systems and Lesson 1, here is the PowerPoint that I have used to teach my class. If I click on Assignments, this is where I have set the assignments for each of my classes. At the moment, there is one assignment, which is the Computer Systems Lesson 1 assignment. If I click once on this, it will ask me and show me who's looked at it and who's handed it in. If I click on Student View, this will show me what it looks like for a student. I'm going to click on Worksheet 1, and it will now open up this assignment or this Word document in Microsoft Teams. So what do we have to do? Well, for this particular assignment, it says, what is this device? Well, we need to know, what is this? We can simply click in the box, and I'm going to type that this is a monitor. Is it an input, output, or storage? Well, a monitor is an output device. And what is it used for? Well, this is used to show us what's on our screen or what is currently displayed. We're going to go through all the different questions. And then once we finish this, we can click once on close. Don't worry, it will save automatically. And then what we can do is you will have a button over here that says hand in.